Hello, guys. I'm gonna do um, a video about. Um, I just finished my Tokyo Rising, and yeah, Tokyo Rising, and um, I've been playing the Gate at the same time. So, and I just want to do a comparison. Uh, between Metal Gear Rising and Ninja Gaiden um, I know it's not a big deal but um, but to me it is I need to do it because uh, before I bought Metal Gear Rising there was a lot of videos about uh, how uh, it, Ninja Gaiden is similar to uh, Metal Gear Metal Gear is similar to Ninja Gaiden and, and some people say Ninja Gaiden is horrible because of the gameplay so the video is uh, Metal Gear Rising versus Ninja Gaiden 3. I'm, first of all, let's just say that they are basically the same game. Uh, quite on the, on the surface level, they are. Gameplay wise, uh, I know a lot of people criticize um, Ninja Gaiden because they say it's too easy. Um, you just, you just uh, button mash your way throughout the game and here's the thing Metal Gear Solid is the same game it's so easy to play uh, you just also battle mash battle mashing and but however uh, in that show in Metal Gear Solid and uh, Metal Gear Rising I I only died once during combat that's how easy it was but in uh, <coughs> Ninja Gaiden 3 I, I died a few times so to say that uh, Ninja Gaiden is easier than Metal Gear Solid I don't think that's right maybe it's easier from the previous game but on on par Metal Gear Rising is uh, more easy more easier than uh, much much more easier than Ninja Gaiden I died several times in Ninja Gaiden uh, so for Hideo Kijima the creator of Metal Gear to say that um, Ninja Gaiden is stupid, uh, the gameplay will not be the same as Ninja Gaiden. I mean, that's not true. It is almost the same game. Um, I will do. I I will tell you my favorite is Metal Gear. After playing both, I have to say Metal Gear Rising is the better one, and I will tell you why. Okay, you got that. Um, gameplay wise, they are the same, right? Here is why I like Metal Gear instead of Ninja Gaiden. If you play Metal Gear, um, you really feel like uh, the hero character. You really feel like a hero. Uh, you really feel heroic, and and uh, um, the story is so uh, you know if after every kills is very satisfactory because they make that victory more sweet I don't know the way they put the graphic and you know the cinematic is very important something and then you actually feel that like you are Raiden the hero of Metal Gear Rising you actually feel like you're the ninja and um, but in uh, Ninja Gaiden you don't feel that after levels and stuff like that you don't feel really that great it's, a, it's just business as usual even after you defeated their big bosses it's just you don't feel uh, like a hero yeah I mean it is the gameplay is the same you know in fact Ninja Gaiden 3 is more brutal in terms of the way they fight and um, the the way the ninja every fight every small battle there's a close up and a lot of blood coming out so Ninja Gaiden 3 is more visceral in that sense. There's more blood, there's more gore, there's more action uh, than, uh, than Metal Gear. Metal Gear is just, it's the same battle mission thing, but you don't, you only have the special cut, stuff like that, but, you know, they're the same. Uh, yeah, again, the gameplay is the same, but Metal Gear has it in the story. La. They, they really, the game, Metal Gear Rising really makes you feel like you are the ninja and you are fighting against these big bosses and even the, the and I played it to the end and this ending is cinematic more really make you feel like oh it was worth time spent 
So the replayability in that sense is high because you really it makes you feel good. It makes you feel high. It makes you feel like you're the ninja. Uh, as opposed to Ninja Gaiden, it doesn't make you feel. It's just like playing an arcade. It doesn't have any heroic story or cinematic approach to the storyline. We just fight, kill a lot of people, which is fun. I like both games because they are very arcadeish, very fun to button mash. You know, after a hard day, stress out at work and stuff like that. But story-wise, Ninja Gaiden loses out to Metal Gear. Metal Gear is the awesome. So the result of this of this short Metal Gear Rising versus Ninja Gaiden Three, Metal Gear Rising comes up top. Okay, that's it.